Hello, everybody. Today is November 3rd, 2022, and I'd like to talk about pain today. So what I want to talk about, uh, I'm going to start off with a quote by Khalil Gibran, the author of The Prophet. Quote is from uh, that book, and it's on pain, a chapter called Pain. Your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. And could you keep your heart in wonder at the daily miracles of your life? Your pain would not seem less wondrous than your joy. So that quote and some other things I'm going to talk about sort of fall into place. So. There's a fellow by the name of uh, Professor Lorimer Mosley. He's a professor of clinical neurosciences and foundation chair at the University of South Australia. He's authored 300 papers and five books on pain. And he's basically uh, come up with a, sort of a different paradigm on pain in terms of uh, the idea that our as our body comes to live with pain, uh, it starts to become overprotective. And so what happens is you stop doing certain things for fear of getting pain and you wind up sometimes doing things or not doing things that you should be doing. And of course, negating your quality of life. And he talks about how uh, pain begins in the brain and our perception of the degree of danger that something has. In other words, if I move this way, whatnot can intensify the pain, if I can relax and sort of refocus the pain, uh, then it becomes uh, less painful. And, they, and he's done a bunch of experiments where with various cues to make people think either uh, more fearfully or less fearfully, if you will, uh, about pain, that the pain either is mu much worse or much better. Uh, than it is because some people living with chronic pain, of course, are looking for ways to reposition it. And it's very interesting what he does. And what it also made me think of is Doug McGuff. Doug McGuff is the author of Body by Science. And like myself, uh, other than being an emergency room physician in uh, Seneca, South Carolina, he also runs a strength studio like the one that you see in the background with myself training clients. I guess he pays people to pay clients, but he owns a facility and does train clients from time to time and works out the same way as I do. And he did a video called signaling versus stimulus. And as we do this type of training, we want to train slowly, carefully, safely, but we do want to train intensely. We want to train until momentarily uh, momentary muscular fatigue, which basically means as you approach that or approach what we call failure. In other words, you can't do another repetition. And that is, um, you know, part and parcel, it's an oversimplification, the stimulus going that to that degree of effort to where you can't do another one is the stimulus that, um, that, that signals the body to make a positive adaptation. Now, the thing is, though, is as you reach that, as you might guess, it's going to be somewhat unpleasant to do that. And there will be, coming back to the topic of this, some pain involved. And he talks about, Doug McGuff talks about how, as he sees people doing this, and even when he watches himself on videos, he sees facial expressions that look like anguish and, and being submissive, submissive. And he talks about people looking up at the sky and thinking, oh my God, kind of like make it stop type of thing. And basically, again, going back to uh, Professor Mosley, uh, when you look at it that way, you're less likely to work out the same way. You're sending a signal that is not conducive to having a good workout. And even there's uh, a hormonal, um, uh, what do you call it here, a hormonal cascade that you're looking for, that when you're in that level of anguish and, and you're in that you're making emotionally you have anxiety that can prevent that. And it refers to another Doug, Doug Holland, if you watch videos of Doug Holland working out about Doug sort of is is laser and when he's doing the workout, he's focused his face is in one place, he's got sort of an aggressive stance. And he talks about, um, Doug McGuff talks about, 
when you're looking for failure rather than fear it and, and come to it and almost try to avoid it because it's painful to go after it like a predator, a predator that's looking for failure, focused on it, you've got a laser and that that and having a, a neutral, um, uh, a neutral, uh, and it's just thinking, somebody was working out this morning and I saw them doing exactly that as it was getting hard, throwing their head back. You have this sort of neutral stance, laser point, maybe even fixating in one spot on the wall, then it's a whole different effect on it. So the interesting thing about this is uh, between whether you're dealing with chronic pain or pain of an injury or, or, or whatnot, or simply the pain of doing a good work at how you visualize and how you understand and how you deal with that pain whether it can make a big difference in the quality of your life. So I started this with a quote by um, Gibran Khalil, they can, saying the pain, your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. But maybe, I'm just thinking, maybe your pain, uh, maybe understanding your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses better results and high quality of life. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe and share.